So today is something a little bit different. I'm going to do a different review. This is, uh, I love all types of cutlery. This one happens to be one of my kitchen knives. Now this knife right here, this is, uh, like I said, this is my blood brother in the kitchen. This thing has shed a lot of blood, given me several scars. And it's just, it's my fault. It's carelessness when using it in the kitchen because not realizing how sharp it is. You don't hold things in your hand and cut it. You have to put it on the cutting board and cut away from you. Now this is a Shun Premier chef's knife. Oh man, you know, pulling it out of the sheath, I can even, like in the movies, I can get that ringing tone. You know, that ridiculous sound that you get. Now these are, these are actually hand hammered in Japan. That's VG10 Super Steel True Damascus. Uh, 64 layers. Um, they used to say that it was 100 layers, but then they came back and said 64. Now I've had this blade for approximately 8 years. Uh, that is a walnut handle. Uh, you have to hand wash this thing. You don't put it in the dishwasher. You handle it with care. But it is scary sharp. Like I said, that's a 6 inch blade. Uh, there is some reflection that it will throw on the camera because it is really shiny. It's a pretty blade. When you hold it in the light, you can see that Damascus pattern that goes over through it. I've never actually had to sharpen this knife. I've just ran it through the little kitchen home, you know, and given straightened up the edge on it, given it a little love. Um, I, I tell you what, as far as chef's knives go, this one right here, I don't use it as often as one of my other knives, but uh, when I do, I'm serious about cutting something really thin or I need to cut something quickly. So if I'm trying to go through a lot of stuff in the kitchen, I will pull this one out. That may be one of the reasons I've, I've got a few nicks along the way because you never rush with a sharp knife. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how ridiculously sharp this thing is. Um, this thing is ridiculous. Now, this is the normal chef's knife I use. This is a Sabatier. This is a French-made Inox stainless steel. Uh, to me, it's one of those mystery stainless steels, but it's a really nice knife. Uh, this is also a six-inch blade, but where you can see that this is considered both six inch chef's knives. This one's a little bit bigger. It's got more belly on it, uh, and it's a scary knife. I just want to demonstrate. You know, I see these videos with people cutting all kinds of things, and, and sometimes that's just kind of dumb, you know? So today I'm gonna to be, well, I'm gonna be dumb. Now, like I said, this is a French made Sabatier uh, Inox four star stainless steel knife. And let's see if I can cut this straw, uh, which can't hold a lot of pressure, so you have to use a lot of knives. So I'm going to be careful, try not to cut myself, and see how this blade works. Oh, look at that. I get a cut into the straw, but I, I, I can't actually get the straw to cut. Oh, there it is. So it took a couple times. It took a lot of force with this knife. Now again, this is a really sharp knife. Uh, this one got my finger just the other day cutting onions. I'm going to set it aside, and let's see what we can do with a shun. Now this one, like I said, uh, is frighteningly sharp. Now let's see what it does with a straw. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna quit doing that because I'm gonna end up cutting my hand and I already know it's sharp But you can see right there Very little force with a lot of speed. This thing cuts Really nice knife. So shun Japanese made hand hammered VG 10 super steel true Damascus Walnut handle So how much is a knife like this? This is a hundred and fifty dollar chef's knife uh, that's a lot of money for a knife, but when you need a tool like this in the kitchen, it's going to pay off. Uh, you can catch them on sale. Um, I actually paid more for this one back in the day because there was a, a waiting uh, period. People were buying them up like crazy. They, had, they were relatively new um, and everybody wanted one. Um, I was actually collecting my, I have a French collection, and so these are the ones I traditionally use. It is a lighter weight, small knife, and you can see just in the hand, that's traditionally an always cut away, never cut toward, or you're going to end up with uh, what I did the other day, cutting onions, and you'll know it, and, and being stupid. It's always about being safe first and being smart. Um, so I traditionally use these knives, but I had read about this Japanese super steel. When somebody says the word super, you're thinking it's silly, you know, like saying something is X, you know, because it's awesome, extreme. Super steel, they're super serious. I mean, that sounds that sounds funny, but this knife right here, it's six inches on a chef knife. Uh, you cannot go wrong, but you have to be careful. As you saw earlier, me being stupid with that straw, um, this right here will shave an onion down like nothing. 
I can actually take the skin off of a tomato with this one with little to no effort. That's why in the kitchen, this one stays in a blade protector and this one actually hangs on the wall on a magnetic strip. I would never do that with this knife. I'm telling you, it is just that sharp. So, if you're looking for a fantastic knife, you, you can't go wrong with these saboteurs, especially if they're the true uh, French made. You gotta look on there, and it'll say France, it'll have the four stars with the inox, which means stainless steel, and you're looking for the saboteur elephant, because that, that's a, saboteur is a, a city in France where they actually make the knives. This shun, this Japanese knife, ton of respect. Definitely can't go wrong with this one. But they serve two purposes. I would consider this an everyday kitchen, an EDC, isn't that stupid? I would consider this an extreme kitchen knife as far as uh, if you're wanting to impress people or going to a function or you're going to have to work fast and make sure that you do one cut and done. That's what this knife is for. Get yourself a good kitchen knife if you don't have one in the kitchen. Respect yourself. Respect the art of knives and get yourself something great. Reward yourself. I hope you find yourself a really good utensil, a really good tool. Thank you, have a great day. So today is something a little bit different. I'm gonna do a different review. This is, uh, I love all types of cutlery. This one happens to be one of my kitchen knives. Now this knife right here, this is, uh, like I said, this is my blood brother in the kitchen. This thing has shed a lot of blood, given me several scars. And it's just, it's my fault. It's carelessness when using it in the kitchen because not realizing how sharp it is. You don't hold things in your hand and cut it. You have to put it on the cutting board and cut away from you. Now this is a Shun Premier chef's knife. Oh man, you know, pulling it out of the sheath, I can even, like in the movies, I can get that ringing tone. You know, that ridiculous sound.